Okay everyone, today I am making easy Parmesan spinach mac and cheese. So I already cooked my pasta in this pot, so that is draining. Now I'm going to put the pot back on the heat over medium, and I'm going to add four and a half tablespoons of butter. Okay, so you can see that the butter is melted. I'm going to remove this spoon, add in my flour. Now this is four and a half tablespoons of flour. And I'm just adding a little bit at a time. I'm stirring it constantly, making sure I get the sides. You can see it's forming a thick, sort of gravy-like consistency. So now I'm gonna let that cook for about 30 seconds. And then I'm slowly going to add in the milk. Now I use unsweetened original almond milk. You can use whatever kind of milk you want. You can see that that's looking nice and bubbly. I know there's a bit of a shadow. Makes it a little easier to see. Okay, so now I'm gonna slowly stir in the milk. See, it has a nice creamy texture. Okay, now I'm going to cook this for about seven minutes or until the sauce is nice and thick. some salt and pepper. Stir that together. in the chopped spinach. This is four and a half cups of fresh spinach that was just roughly chopped. Okay. So now we are going to cook this for a few minutes. until the spinach becomes wilty. So you can see that the spinach has started to shrivel up and it is all wet and um, pliable. So it is looking really good. Now I'm going to go ahead and add one quarter cup plus two tablespoons or three ounces of cream cheese. Cut them up into smaller pieces so that they will melt a little easier. I'm going to turn off the heat I'm going to remove the sauce from the heat. I've added the cream cheese that is melting. That's gonna thicken the sauce up just a little bit and add a richness to it. 
And I'm also going to add two and a quarter cups of fresh grated Parmesan cheese. So this is sort of a take on an adult macaroni and cheese. Um, it has Parmesan in the cream cheese, but it also has the butter and milk, which is the base of any good macaroni and cheese. The spinach will give you your vegetables and um, just makes it feel more adult. So now I'm gonna add back in my drained cooked pasta. This is cavatappi. I boiled the water and then cooked this for about seven minutes and then placed it in the drainer um, to uh, drain completely. So I'm just adding a little bit in at a time so I can make sure it all gets coated really well. I did have this recipe. Normally it calls for double of everything I added, but it's only my husband and I, and even this is going to be a lot of food. We'll have leftovers probably for a couple days we may end up freezing some of it and eating it at a later time um, just because this is a lot to be able to go through okay so this is all mixed in now a few dry pieces of pasta so here's a fresh clean bowl Two scoops is probably a normal serving size. I'm going to top with a little bit of fresh Parmesan. And there you have it. Easy Parmesan spinach mac and cheese. I hope you try it out and let me know how it goes.